Mr. Macron was, was very lucky. Um, the export prices of most Philippine export products went up, and therefore there was a feeling of um, prosperity for the first year. Then the next year, 1974, if you remember, there came the uh, first oil crunch when the prices of oil went up and uh, Mr. Marcus's uh, martial law started to falter. Then again, in 78, 79, there came this matter of uh, another oil increase. Again, Mr. Marcos, this time, had to borrow a lot of money. And uh, the debt of the Philippines, which was about two billion at uh, the start of martial law, ballooned to about 26 billion in 1983. And now it's about uh, 30 billion or so. When martial law was declared, a lot of people, especially those whose children were uh, very active in protesting against the society as it was at that time, felt a considerable amount of relief. Most of the people felt that the excesses of the politicians had caused the situation that we were in, and they wanted to give Mr. Marcos at least time to show that he could do something about it. In 1974, uh, Marcos could have legitimized himself, provided that he allowed some of the opposition to win. You see, the Filipino is, we Filipinos are a very peculiar, have a very peculiar character. While we would like to have a government that is successful, we also want that government opposed. Because if there is no opposition, then there is a tremendous abuse of power. And that is what, has, what happened during martial law. With uh, Marcos having his opposition in jail, or else completely cowed, he had no opposition to speak of. He could do what he wanted, and there was a tremendous uh, ab corruption, abuse of power, and almost any defect of government that you can uh, mention.